Good morning. I hope everybody that listens is keeping well. I wanted to share some of my thoughts, ideas, concepts about uh, what's going on in the world. It seems there's a group of people that wants uh, annihilation. And they don't want to go alone. They want to bring as many as they can with them. Most people, they just want to live their lives as peaceful as possible, you know, pay their bills, raise their families, have a laugh, you know, have some time for themselves and, um, you know, just live. But there's a percentage of humanity that doesn't have a purpose in life. They are quite clueless of the what their purpose is they are quite uh, shallow superficial they have no intuition they have no creativity or imagination they are easy prey for cults and religion now imagine if this is a rich person what do you think they would do with their wealth? They would invest in these crazy things, you know. <clears throat> For instance, in the past, around the French Revolution, um, lots of weird ideas, you know, was developed. Um, ideas that it's been occult and... Uh, have resurfaced for everybody to watch, everybody to witness. Yes. Schools of new thought emerged, like uh, that school around Blavatsky. I've heard this uh, this uh, uh, occultist was, you know, um, financed by the rich to travel and stuff and gather information. They were trying to um, create a new religion that would uh, replace Christianity, a religion for the new world. And that's what the theosophy was all about. Um, some good things came out of it, some bad things came out of it as well. For instance, the Mustache Man uh, was uh, very infatuated with her, the ideas of theosophy around the uh, Aryan race. Some say that would, that's what gave him the inspiration, you know, for his theories. That's what people say. I've also heard that these ideas was actually thought and implemented in the USA way before the Mustache Man came along. I can't remember now the details, but uh, there were schools of thought already trying to implement those ideals in uh, the new world. But anyway, um, so when you have rich people who really don't have a purpose in life, they get infatuated with these cults and often you know, like every other cult, has an eschatology, a judgment day, a end of times scenario. This uh, death cult that is, uh, you know, that has taken over the, the politics, uh, end of times eschatology is end by climate. It's been uh, 30, 40 years that they claim, you know, humanity was going to be erased out of the face of the earth because of the rise of the oceans or whatever. But like any, you know, coming of the prophet, like the second and third coming of the prophet, it never comes, uh, this end of times eschatology. So they are kicking the can, you know, every time. They say it's tomorrow, it doesn't happen, so they kick the can. They move the goalpost, so to speak, right? They move the goalpost, so it was... Um, the ozone, it was going to freeze everything, and then it switched from freezing to warm, and since warm doesn't work anymore, now it, it simply fluctuates, it changes, depending 
you know, on the direction of the wind, <laughs> so to speak. It's their eschatology. And uh, this school, this uh, idea is coming out of the Frankfurt, you know, school. These leaders. You have to understand that <clears throat> politics is more theological than, uh, you know, a a factual or logical. No, it's theological. It's a religion. You have to be a believer. And when politics doesn't work, it's because you didn't believe enough or you did it wrong, like the vegan politics. Whenever a vegan, you know, uh, collapses and quits the the cult they say oh we didn't do it correctly no it's a religion i remember another example i was reading about the female empowerment movement back in those days it was uh, wealthy women that was in front of the movement they were filthy rich. They got rich not because they were intelligent or were good workers. No, they got rich because they divorced. You know. They were filthy rich and they were private owners, uh, property owners. And uh, they start funding these movements. They wanted more power. They wanted more superiority. That's what it's all about. It's a superiority movement. And back in those days, when they did referendums, only 5% of women wanted to participate in politics. But they didn't care about people's opinions. They went along, well, they went forward with it anyway. And uh, they made all women vote. Now, another thing that came out of the suffrage was the Planned Parenthood and Welfare State. This all comes from their annihilation religion, you know. Welfare would create more entitled and lazy people. Like the filthy rich, you see, they feel lonely. They want more members. A way of creating more members, lazy and entitled, virtue signaling, you know, members, they created the welfare state. Pretty much rewards people for doing nothing. And that's what we have nowadays. The thing with these systems is eventually the money will run out. All Western countries have been uh, living off the living off the sacrifice of their ancestors, basically since the sixties. The wealth and and that was accumulated, the wealth and hard work that was accumulated by their predecessors. These uh, utopias has been installed all over the West, so-called Western culture, Europe and USA and the rest of the Commonwealth. <clears throat> you notice when they are struggling, they start printing money raising taxes and uh, creating lot, tons and tons of um, inflation. That's when they are struggling. It doesn't work. So we arrive at a situation, there's no way out. What do they do? Conflict. The only thing that can get them out of this miserable situation is conflict, you know. (laughs) 
deep down these people seek annihilation. They don't have any purpose in life. They don't have personality, creativity, imagination. They are completely possessed by the cult. They will follow until annihilation. And they don't want to be by themselves. They want company. They want tons of company. They would look, it would look quite stupid. Imagine that there's the whole cult present, you know, and the aliens are coming from, you know, whatever. And here's the poison, everybody's got to take it so we can rise and go live forever, you know, in this uh, afterlife or whatever they are imagining. And only a few, you know, the most loyal and fanatic take and everybody else just, you know, doesn't take it. You see, they, they, that would look very, very foolish. You know, to be all the only ones who believed and fulfilled the prophecy of annihilation. So they want to take as many people, to be sure they will take as many people as they can with them. It's a reunification um, uh, thing. It's a social reunification uh thing that they seek all the time you see they want everybody to be equal that's another thing that doesn't make any sense nothing is equal in this world that's the whole point for instance men are not equal to women the reason why men like women is because women are not men why do you want them to be equal that that's crazy that's the annihilation thing they want to reach that point of uh, androgynous point, you know, they have these ideas of androgyny in which um, the two principles get uh, morphed into this equality thing. And uh, it's when the this whole experiment, shall we call it, hits reset. What did they call it? The event. There's an event that they are waiting for. I can't remember right now. There's a specific name for this event that these ideologues are waiting for. In which the male and female will morph into this androgynous thing. And when it morphs, it, uh, you know, resets. Reset or revolution is just another name for saying, let's start over. Year zero or um, let's go back to the Stone Age and rebuild society uh, as we see fit. Because these people are convinced that uh, humans have completely missed the point and they have to rebuild everything again. They see this world as a demonic world and in order to defeat this demonic, the demiurge, they have to become a demiurge. It's almost like the, the virus theory. To destroy a virus, you have to become the virus. <clears throat> That's why the needle craft has, you know, the disease in it. Basically, they think they can fight fire with fire. They, they, to, instead of <clears throat> raising, you know, a person's vitality, you know, they think, uh, I mean, it, it's completely logical, you know, uh, fallacy. It's completely illogical, irrational. <clears throat> so I would say the West, the leaders of the West, are in collision with this idea of annihilation. These ideas uh, from the Frankfurt School was uh, spread all over the world. 
the dictator from Cambodia, he studied in these schools. So did the dictator that is in, that's in Korea and uh, etc. They all come from the same schools. They're all part of the same cult. That's the thing most people haven't connected yet. They are selected. You're, it's not you that elects them. They are selected, you know. So anyway, uh, I'm going to shut up now. And uh, How do we survive this? Don't get in their way, you know. Stay far away as possible. Try to not to get in their way because they are in the collision course with annihilation. These mediocre people, they want annihilation. It's part of their religion. That's how they are going to reach Nirvana or whatever. And uh, there's nothing really you can do. Just stay away from them and try to survive. And it's always a small percentage of the population that seeks annihilation, you know. But, but like I said, the creation of the welfare state, the destruction of the family units, you know, etc. They, they also gain, you know, power over the means of production. They, uh, they are trying to destroy agriculture. Uh, factories are gone. So industry and agriculture, which is the only you know, um, uh, uh, industry and agriculture is the only um, it's the only uh, industry actually that exists. Uh, everything else is just uh, uh, management. You know, it's the basis of any uh, economy. It's industry and agriculture. And they took. Pretty much took control over everything or they're going crazy with taxes and uh, pretty much destroying everything the predecessors have you know worked for it's annihilation you know it uh, would end with a bang if they could Yeah. It's crazy, you know. All right. I hope this made any sense. Have a nice day.